All right. Can never you? click loud. From the beginning. So I'm saying, oh, Ruben Diaz. You give me a countdown. <laughs> uh, the under 18s won the World Cup with the World Cup. <laughs> yeah, for a for a signing like it was, it's always a shame to not having funds uh, and even on the first steps. But but yeah, it's it's how it is, and we just need to to deal with it. Obviously, uh, I was kind of used to not having fans in, in my club, in the national team, but it's obvious, obviously never the, the full experience. I've seen some uh, like uh, waiting on the, um, on the training ground, uh, but not much because they probably are not allowed to as well. In my daily routine, I've, I've not been that much approached. Hi Ruben, welcome to Manchester. Hello Ruben, welcome to Manchester City. Hello Ruben Dos Santos Gato Alves Diaz. Good job you don't want that on the back of your shirt. I'd just like to welcome you to Manchester. The best team in the land and all the world. Can't wait to see you playing live in that stadium behind me. You've not had a chance to meet us, the fans yet. Hopefully we meet soon, but until then, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the club. And Ruben, listen carefully. Pay attention. Yeah, let's see. Make sure you're listening though, because I'm going to be testing you at the end. There's going to be some questions at the end. I'll try to be focused. Ruben, Manchester, your new home. But what's it famous for? Well, the Industrial Revolution happened here. The first computer ever built was built here. Manchester City, the only club I could think of that was founded by a woman. Oh, and it rains a lot. Everybody just uh, ru tried to ruin my image about Manchester, but uh, from my experience till now, I, I, I kind of cope with that. With it. Hi, my name is Les Chapman, or Chappie, as people used to call me, and I came to Manchester City in 1992. And from 1997, I was the kit man. And when we were at Main Road, and then moving over to the stadium here at the Etihad, in 2003. I, I knew it was a new stadium, I just didn't know since when. If it's 2003, it, it, it's quite for a long time. And it's, it, it, it's still looking sharp. <laughs> now, Manchester City have lots of famous celebrations, but one of my favourites is the Poznan. Now, you might think it's us being rude, but we're not, trust me. It's where we turn around and start jumping up and down. Well, that's our way of saying, what a goal! Oh, they all do it. That's quite something. I need to, squ I need to score a screamer. So over here, Ruben, above um, the City Square stage is a picture of Bert Troutman who was the goalkeeper for Manchester City, who was an ex-prisoner of war, and he was the goalkeeper in the 1956 Cup Final against Birmingham City. It's the Cup Final, the greatest match of them all. This year, a tale of two cities, with white-shirted Birmingham hot favourites against Manchester, last year's runners-up. Birmingham's inside left, Peter Murphy, starts an attack, which sweeps to the Manchester goal mouth and straight into the arms of Bert Troutman, one of the world's greatest goalkeepers. He broke his neck in the game and carried on playing. City won 3-1. happened? Troutman's down. He's injured. Teammates help Troutman to his feet. He tells the trainer he's all right, but the crowd can see his neck is hurting badly. He's up, and Birmingham's Eddie Brown makes sure he's OK. Nowadays, this would be impossible. 
So that kind of commitment just sums up this club and hopefully you'll be showing exactly the same. You were expecting me to, to, make, <laughs> to make this. Hi Ruben, I'm Georgia, a forward for Man City women's team. It's really impressive to see how well you've settled in. The women's team has been established since 1988 and since 2014 we've won seven trophies. As well as the women's team, we've got the youth sides and they like to win trophies too. Just the other day, the under-18s won the FA Youth Cup. Well done, boys. We want more. <laughs> I bet you've not heard of this one before. So, in the 80s and 90s, before I was born, City fans used to take in inflatable bananas into the grounds. Small ones and the large ones. And we've even got the shirts. Is that to keep them warm? That's to keep them warm and the hats also to keep them warm. And they go on the bananas? On the bananas, yes. How yes. many have you sold of these? Oh, yeah. hundreds and hundreds. Somebody bought a banana <laughs> one week and everyone used to sing like Imri, Imri Banana. And it changed like to Imri, Imri Banana. And then next week someone brought, you know, three or four bananas and then it snowballed, didn't it? Yep. It's become fashionable to have bananas. It, you can't be seen without a banana. And I'm sure there's a video somewhere of me uh, at Wembley Wales. I was on my dad's shoulders waving a banana around while chanting. I think to put the fun side back into the game, which is what this is doing, and taking away the thing about hooligans and Stanley knives and people being mugged. It's absolutely tremendous and the club is wholeheartedly behind it. If you ever see a banana at a City game, in the grounds or anywhere, it's just the City way. I think I have seen it one time, but I, I can remember for certain, so I will go with the no. So in more recent times, in 2012, you may have heard of the Aguero moment when he scored the winner to win us the Premiership 2012. Uh, epic moment in the history of this club. Back to Balotelli. It runs for Aguero! They did it! City win the title! It's Aguero! I don't believe what I'm seeing! Manchester City are the champions of England! I would say this goal in the time summoned up my, my Premier League definition, you know? It was special at the time, yeah. I'm a Premier League fan since I can remember, like, watching games. Uh, at the time, it was Man United was waiting on the field, yeah? Uh, the, way, the way it went, it was just uh, special for me, like, uh, as a spectator, like, uh, as a fan. Uh, and, yeah, it definitely made a memory. All City fans have lots of songs and chants. We're called the Noisy Neighbours, and some of my favourites are... We are not, we're not really here. How will be mine? <laughs> thank you guys, thank you for welcoming me. Uh, hope you can just uh, see me the fast, uh, the fast it, can, it can be able to uh, in the stadium.